friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Friday, so it is weigh in day. Today's video is going to look a little bit differently. I'll fill you in on why in just a moment, but if you're excited for another weigh in, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I myself follow to lose 140 pounds and I have since maintained that weight loss for almost two years now, which is crazy, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things, as well as my free Facebook group, come join us. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into another weigh-in video, a different weigh-in video, but nonetheless, another Friday weigh-in. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a fantastic week. Let me update you on everything that's kind of been going on and let me explain why this weigh-in video is going to look a little bit different. So when I film my Friday videos, I always tell you guys about my week, I tell you what my weigh-in was for the week and we talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So today I logged on to the Weight Watchers website right here on my laptop and the weekly topic is the same as it was last week. And normally they update the weekly topic weekly. So when I go to film these videos, the topic has been updated. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that just for some reason they didn't update the topic this week. I also had someone reach out to me last week and asked if I heard about the changes coming to Weight Watchers in November. I just looked up online too and there's no information out there about any changes coming in November. But I'm wondering why they're no longer updating or at least this week they're not updating the weekly topic. So let me know down below, do you physically go to meetings and did they have a different topic this week than last week? So last week's topic was why weight training is so good for you. So we talked about that in my way in last week and that's exactly what is showing again this week. So right here where it says weekly technique, why weight training is so good for you. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe the website isn't updated. So again, if you attend meetings, let me know. Do you see this? Is there a topic this week that was discussed? Let me know down below. So I don't have a Weight Watchers topic to discuss with you. Like I said, I haven't heard about any changes coming in November. If I hear anything, you will be the first to know. If they are once again changing the Weight Watchers program, which they like to do every couple of years and they didn't change it last year. So it's a possibility that they may change it again this year. I will definitely film a video. I will let you guys know. So we don't have a Weight Watchers topic to discuss this week. I still think it's really weird. So I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you had a different topic than why is weight training so good for you, let me know down below. A couple other things. When you see today's video, I am actually traveling. I left yesterday, Thursday, to go to a nutrition conference in Newport Beach, California. I actually attend this conference every single year. I go with my friend Henry, typically, who lives in California, but my friend Amy is actually flying in from New York, so I'll get to be with her at the conference this year as well, so I'm so incredibly excited for that. This is such a great conference. It's so educational. I always learn so much, and like I said, this is my third year attending. So I'll update you guys on the conference, of course, at some point next week. So I'm actually filming my way in today early. It is currently Wednesday that I'm filming this video. So I leave tomorrow, Thursday for my trip. And again, you are seeing this video on Friday. Now, as always, whenever I travel, I do not track my food. I try to be as mindful as possible. I try to choose the healthiest options. I did pack my protein shakes for my protein coffee. The hotel that we're staying at actually has a Starbucks in the lobby, so that is a lifesaver. I can have my protein coffee every morning. I also always pack healthy snacks, so protein bars. I pack some little packs of nuts. I have some trail mix. I have some of my magic spoon little bars that I got at Costco. So I always try to prepare myself with healthy snack options. Now at this particular conference, they only feed us one meal. So we're on our own for the rest of the meals. They do have a little store where you can buy small food items and they typically have yogurt. So that's what I'm hoping I can have as part of my breakfast, along with some type of protein bar or something that I brought with me. So I do plan ahead when I travel. I just don't track my food and I don't, and but I do focus on being mindful and doing my absolute best to get in all of my protein. Because I am traveling this weekend, there will not be a Sunday video. However, I will have a grocery haul for you tomorrow. So I just wanted to give you just a few updates 
at the beginning of the video. So let's talk about my week. I can tell you about my week. I can tell you about my weigh-in. I had a great week. I had a very busy week. Whenever it's a short week and whenever I travel, I am so busy. I always have to play catch up basically, make sure all my videos are filmed and edited and up for you guys so you can have my typical content. If you didn't know, I have three YouTube channels, so I have to make sure that that content is on this channel, it's on my nutrition channel, it's on my beauty channel. I will have all of my channels in the description box if you're interested in following me on any of the other YouTube channels, but I made sure that I got all of my content filmed and ready. We actually met with the superintendent of our new house this last week and we officially are assigned to a gentleman named Steve. He's so nice and that's really exciting because as soon as you get assigned to a, to a superintendent, then you have a timeline for everything. So all of the permits are currently being ordered for our new home and we will officially be breaking ground on October 11th. Now they will come out on October 10th to stake the property and I have been filming. I've got a couple of clips already for the second video in our new home series, but I'll be out there every step of the way as they build our new home. So my plan is, is to be there when they stake the ground, when we break ground. And then what I will most likely do is put a new video out. I'll put the second video out mid to late November. So you'll get to see kind of where we've been the last couple of months and the beginning stages of the home build. And then we'll put out a another video with the final stages of the home build. I'll have a moving vlog, a new home tour. I'm really excited. It's a, it's getting real. It's getting real. The fact that we're assigned to a superintendent now means it's happening and we are so excited. We're so, so, so anxious. Our plan is to meet with our realtor mid to late October for our current home. We want to list our current home early just because interest rates are still kind of high. Now they should be dropping again here in a couple of days as well as in November. Typically during an election year, the rates drop. So this election year is insane. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the rates will drop again. So by the time we actually lock in for our loan, our interest rate is much lower and homes are just sitting a little bit longer now because of interest rates, because of the terrible economy. People don't have money. People are barely surviving. I'm hoping that that changes, but I have a bad feeling that our house may sit a little while. And Troy and I talked it through completely and we had two options. Number one, we list our house a little bit later and hope that it sells by the time our new house is finished. We do want to use some of the proceeds from the sale of this home for our new home, for the down payment. The more we put down the 20%, we don't have to have mortgage insurance. It's just we can get a lower interest rate. So we wanted to use some of the proceeds from this house for that house. And if we list this house a little bit later, we risk this house not being sold when our new house is finished, which would basically mean that we would be putting less money down, potentially having mortgage insurance or having to figure out a way to put that 20% down out of our actual pocket, which doesn't leave us a lot of savings left for landscaping, new home things, Lola's medical treatments. So we really have to be mindful of when we list our house. So we talked about it and we decided for us, it makes a little bit more sense to list our house a little earlier and in the event, kind of worst case scenario, our house sells before our new house is finished, we have to move somewhere else in the meantime. Or maybe the people buying our house will allow us to have a longer closing. It's just all up in the air right now, but we're really thinking worst case scenario and that would be that we have to go to an Airbnb or a hotel or something for a while before our house is finished. That is not fun. I don't wanna move once more or less twice. So I'm not looking forward to that being a probable reality, but I think it makes more sense for us and better safe than sorry to try to sell our house before or at the finishing of our new house. Just try to make those align as closely as possible. So it's going to be interesting. I'll keep you guys updated. If we have to move, if we don't have to move, you'll hear the whole thing during my new home vlog. I do have my first video up, so I'll link it down below if you missed it. It's so much fun. It's just the beginning stages and going through design for our new house. So if you're looking to build a new house or you want to know what that process looks like, maybe you want to move to Arizona and Quail Creek where we're moving's on your radar. Definitely check out that vlog and there are so many more videos to come. Also this week, this last weekend, I went to what's called Patagonia Lake here in Arizona with my boot camp group. I finally got to take out my kayak. So I went to the lake last year with my boot camp group and my 
Instructor friend Julia has a blow up kayak. I fell in love with her kayak last year. It was so much fun and it's one that you inflate so it just crumples up to nothing and it's stored in a bag about this big. So we just throw it in the rack in our garage. We don't have storage space nor do I wanna haul a full plastic kayak. So during Black Friday last year, the kayak went on an incredible sale. It was less than $100 and I picked it up. And, to, and this last weekend was my first try of my first time using my new kayak and I'm in love. It was so easy to pump it up, to blow it up with air, to use it to take the air out, to put it back in the bag. I was dreading that. I was like, there's no way it's going back in that bag. It did and it was actually a lot easier than I thought and I love everything about my kayak. I will link it for you. I bought it on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. It's really, really affordable. They have a single and a double. I have the double and I really love it. It's so great to have a kayak option that is easy to store. We had so much fun at the lake. It was so sunny and beautiful. I did get a little bit crispy, especially on my back. I always forget that when you're on water, the sun is definitely more intense. So I got a little bit of color, but it was so much fun and it was really everything that I needed. Every time I do a girl's day with my boot camp group, it's just so soul fulfilling. I spent the rest of the week getting ready for my trip. Also, quick Lola update. This next Tuesday is her final chemo session. So she will have completed two full rounds of what's called CHOP chemotherapy. She will officially graduate for the second time from chemotherapy on Tuesday. She's doing amazing. By the way, she's doing really, really well. She is in full remission. She's thriving. Now is when I start to panic. Now is when I start to panic because she'll no longer be going through chemo, which is killing the cancer cells. So now we just ride it out and hope that she stays in remission. It's actually kind of a sensitive topic for me. It's, it's an emotional topic for me because I just, I've been in this anticipatory grief for the last year and a half since she was diagnosed with lymphoma. And as soon as she finishes chemo, it just escalates that grief because I just worry, when is she going to go out of her mission? When is she going to struggle? When is she going to be unhealthy? And it's really, really hard for me. It's been really hard for me the last year and a half. And now it's getting to where it's even harder just because we don't have chemo to kill any new cancer cells. So if you can send all the love in the world and all the prayers and all the good vibes to Lola to keep her in remission, that would seriously mean the world to me because you guys know she's my best friend in the whole entire world and I just want her to be healthy and I just want her to live out the rest of her life cancer free and healthy and happy. I want her to come to the new home and thrive there. So please send your love, send your good vibes, send anything you can send to give Lola the best chance at staying in remission and staying healthy. I can't even handle it. So I really, really hope that we have success with this CHOP protocol, with this chemotherapy, and she just lives a healthy life. Now, I also do wanna say that there are other medications, there's other treatments we can give Lola if she does go out of remission. I just don't want that to happen. She's she's really kind of over, she's over it. This last time she went for chemotherapy, she did not wanna be there. She just head on stopped when I took her to the back and didn't budge. It's just, she's done. And even her oncologist said, yeah, Lola's over it. Like she's coming here because she has to. She's never liked it. She's always been, she always shakes when we get off the freeway. She always tries to hide behind me when we get there, but it's getting worse. Her body's over it, she's over it, so. Please, please, please keep her healthy and in remission. Oh, one more thing that happened this week. My poor husband. <laughs> My poor husband. He had another flare-up of gout in his foot. And what's really, really weird is he, his doctor actually doubled his uric acid medication. If you didn't know, excess uric acid causes gout. Gout is extremely painful. And his doctor doubled his dose, thinking that that would help with these gout outbreaks. Well, he got another gout outbreak. So he's doing better now. He has to take a medication. He has to see a doctor, get a medication that breaks up that uric acid buildup. We're really trying to figure out what is causing this so regularly. This is his third flare up in the last, I don't know, two, three months, which is really, really unheard of. And there's got to be some other type of underlying issue. So he's going to see about seeing a rheumatologist to see if there's something else going on with him. This poor guy, it's just never ending. When I tell you that he is in pain every day, I'm not joking. There is always something. There's always something with him. It's 
it's just a constant battle of medical conditions. And I don't know how he stays in such good spirits because that poor guy just goes through the ringer on a daily basis. He said that there is never a single day that he's not in pain. And I'm sure some of you can relate with that, but that just breaks my heart for him. And I'm so grateful that I am healthy, that I'm able to kind of pick up the slack for him. When he gets these gout flare-ups, he can't even walk. So it's not like he can do anything. I mean, I have to pick up all the slack, which I have no problem doing. I just, I feel terrible for him. I just feel terrible for him. So I'll keep you guys posted, keep you updated on his health as well. Thank goodness he gets disability now because there's no way he could work. Like I said, it's every single day is a battle, a battle of pain. So that's all the updates. There's good, there's bad. <laughs> that's all the updates I have for you. Like I said, there's no Weight Watchers topic to talk about. So let's hop into my weigh-in. Last week I gained a pound and I mentioned in last week's video that I was about to start my cycle. I'm currently on my cycle. That's fun. That's fun that I get to travel on my cycle, but I am currently about day three of my cycle. And what was interesting is normally right before my cycle starts, I'm at my leanest, not this month. I actually was even heavier the day before my cycle started. Once my cycle started, my weight kind of leveled out. So bizarre to me. I always think that I know my body and I know what to expect every month and then it just changes on me. My body just does random things. And this month it was very different than it's been any other month. And that could be because I am perimenopause and my body is just changing and my hormones are shifting. But I was heavier before I started my cycle. That kind of leveled out. I'm on my cycle right now. So when I weighed in today, I'm actually down 0.2, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. So I'm still up about 0.8 pounds from last week. But like I said, I'm in the middle of my cycle. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when my cycle is over, what will happen with my weight. But when I stepped on the scale today, like I said, I am down 0.2 pounds. Listen, I'm taking a 0.2 pound loss when I'm on my cycle and before I go on a trip. So next week's weigh-in should be really interesting. I want to know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Let me know what you've been up to down in the comments. And please, if you attend Weight Watchers workshops in person, let me know what's going on with these weekly topics. If you find any information out, please Please, please let me know. I'm hoping that it's maybe just a fluke and we'll have a new topic next week, but well, I guess we'll know in next week's weigh-in video. And don't forget, there will be a grocery haul tomorrow. There will not be a video on Sunday. And down in the description box, as always, I will have nutrition coaching. I will link the first video in our home vlog if you missed it. Discounts to my favorite things in my free Facebook group. Come and join us. We are starting our holiday challenge October 1st. That's going to help us make it through the last three months of the year without gaining weight. I will put the link to the challenge in the description box as well. This is a paid challenge, but I I'll put the link. You can go check it out and see if you're interested in joining. We'd love to have you. If you struggle in October, November, December, come join us. We are all going to stay on track and continue to reach our goals and kill the rest of 2024. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for your support. Send your love, your good vibes, your good wishes for Lola, and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.